hey guys, it's Sky from Sweetener, or aka Dilemma. I've decided to start doing tutorials again. Now, these are going to be a little more detailed than what my old ones used to be. Uh, they're going to be a lot more voiceover and things like that. So, I hope this helps. Anyway, so I've been asked to do a tutorial, and what a better way to do it than a Christmas theme one. So, this is the image that I want to use, um, and I'm going to put Chloe Bennett's face. So, I've picked three different faces just to show you the it all does depend on the angle so I'm gonna go for this one and you the reason why I've gone for this one is because the look of the face the face is kind of a similar angle which will be a lot easier to help modify um, and it'll be a lot easier to adjust as well and um, it blends a lot better so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drag and drop my image onto the image that I want so it's there I'm just going to zoom in in a minute so if I then disappear you're going to see the her head's going to be huge so the easiest way that I can describe is to get the lasso tool and if you don't know how to get that one if you haven't got it you right click on it um, and then obviously you've got the options but I use lasso tool and I'm just going to be really awful and just literally just cut her head out and then I'm going to go Control and J to duplicate and then I'm going to delete the bottom layer and then I'm going to zoom in and then I'm going to turn down the opacity a little bit and then I'm literally going to try and line her face up with the face that's on the image that I want to use so yeah that's about there maybe a little bit more I could go with that and then I'm going to get my eraser tool and I'm going to make it quite big and it's going to be quite like hardly any hardness and then you're literally just going to go, actually, that's probably a bit too much hardness, around the bits that you don't want. Try and keep the neck if you can, because the neck will make it a lot easier to blend in as well, make it look more realistic. So that bit I don't need. And then I'm going to shrink my bra and my eraser and literally out the areas so if I just zoom in she has actually got something on her neck so I am gonna try and do this without ruining her neck <laughs> there is ways around it so the more you do the more you'll know like what the best one is so I'm literally just gonna try and blend her hair into the like the model's hair I need to get rid of that black bit there as well. Like that. Let me just zoom in a minute. Because that looks awful. And then literally just neatening up the edges. Do we really need her ear? Do I? No, not really. Let's just remove it. So now if I zoom out, she looks pretty good already. Um, if anything, it's just her neck. So the way around that is you could just do what I've just done. Or you can change the opacity on the brush. Make your brush a little bit bigger and a little bit more... Not hard, soft. And then you zoom in. Oh. And you literally... Just gently start tapping away. Because this is only a, like, a fade brush, basically. And you can just neaten up the edges so they blend a bit better. Man, Chloe looks Bennett. Bennett looks good with blonde hair. And then if you zoom out, her neck now looks a lot better than what it did. So if I zoom out, look, you wouldn't even really know. Actually, there's a bit right there that I can see. And then what I'm then going to do, because her colour is a little bit off, I am literally just going to take a smidgen of the saturation. So in order for, if you didn't see that, I went to image, adjustments, and then hue and saturation. Then you can play around with how dark you want it, if you want it bright, light, obviously hot, cold, black and white. And there's that. So I can now go merge, and that is my man nip. And then obviously... If you want to add a 
Is it that one I wanted? Yeah. So if you then want to add a PSD on it, you can then drag and drop the PSD. And if you also wanted to, you can then sharpen it. Like so. So I hope that helps. Um, I hope it gives you some tips and it helps you use guys out how to use or how to create simple manips and what kind of tips you need to make a decent looking one. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll try and get back to you. If not, comment or message me on roleplayer.me forward slash x make a wish. And I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.